Hello everyone, this is HeadChef157 and it's finally spring break. These past few days I've just been hanging around making videos for you guys, but my friends and I have some great plans to go to the beach during the week and I recently got a job. I actually work later tonight. And I kind of want to discuss a topic with you guys today and it's mainly a lot of people have been asking me why I primarily game on PC versus a console. Now, before I say anything, don't get me wrong, I love consoles. I have nothing against them. Actually, my PS3 is sitting right here next to me and I have no hatred towards it. So, this is in no way like a fanboy rage of me just explaining how consoles suck. This is just my personal opinion and why I choose PC. And when I first got into gaming, consoles were a really good idea. They were cheap, easy to set up, and had a great friend system. You could talk with your friends and everything, and it was just bam bam, you were ready to go, and there was no complications. But as I furthered myself into my hobby and had a greater understanding of how the games actually work, I started participating in beta tests and stuff like that. I got a better appreciation for PC gaming. A lot of people have their different reasons for preferring PC over consoles, whether it's graphics or the latest technology. In my case, there are so many other games with PC that you don't have on consoles. Like the gameplay you're seeing today of APB Reloaded. Games will come out on PC years before they come out on console, if they ever do. And there's some games that consoles just can't handle, like APB. A lot of the times these games are great, and I love them. I just seem to like more and more PC games than console games recently, especially with atrocities like Modern Warfare 3. I've become more adept with like League of Legends, APB, and most recently Blacklight Retribution. By no standards am I a PC elitist. I'm talking about a computer here that's an overclocked Dell Inspiron with an HD 4350 graphics card. And if you don't know any technical stuff, that basically means it's the Wii of PCs. So basically with my setup, if you haven't seen my setup video, is that I have my PC that plays all of the out of the ordinary games like League of Legends, APB Reloaded, Black Light Retribution, and I also use my PC for a select few games that run better on PC, like Skyrim. But then again, my PC isn't the greatest. Also, some games just aren't scripted well to run on PC. For instance, if you've ever tried to play Gotham City Imposters on a PC, it is highly intensive. I could play Blacklight Retribution on high, but I cannot run Gotham City Imposters on low. So whenever I have a game that won't run on PCs or it's just a compatibility issue, that's where the PS3 comes in. Now my PC is by no standards Crisis 2 or Battlefield 3 ready, so I have those two games for PS3. Also, with the compatibility issues, I have games like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit and Gotham City Imposters for the PS3. So in short, it really comes down to what you want. With a console, you have easily compatible, usually works with everything, you just plug it in and you have your friends list and everything, it's really easy to use and simplistic. When you get down to a PC though, it's highly customizable, you're able to customize just about everything, but sometimes there's some compatibility issues. But in the end of what it comes down to, I spend a lot more time on my PC than my PS3. My PS3 essentially just sits there until I want to play Battlefield 3, Gotham City Imposters, or Need for Speed, which is why to my subscribers who added me on PSN, I'm barely on PSN. The people that asked me why I picked PS3 over Xbox, again I'm not going to go into fanboy bullcrap, and oddly enough the main reason I prefer PS3 is because it's more like a PC. It uses standard laptop hard drives. You can plug in just about any USB device and use it. I actually have a USB PS2 controller adapter, and it works just fine. I could use PS2 controllers on my PS3. So it's really compatible. You can use anything that would work on a PC on a PS3. And actually, at one time, PS3s could boot an operating system that would be used on a PC. So in short, I like PS3s because they're like PCs. And since they recently updated the internet browser on the PS3, it's now like a little portable power PC. I have my PC that sits here on my desk and I take my PS3 with me whenever I go somewhere. For the next generation of consoles, you know, you have the new Xbox coming out whenever it plans on. They've already released its technical specs in the Wii U and we have no idea when Sony's making their new PlayStation. People ask me if I'm picking up either of those, I tell them no. Remember how I said the reason I have my PS3 is because I either use it for compatibility issues or games that are too hot for my PC. Through the entire next generation of gaming consoles, I'm not going to pick one up. The reason being is I'm building a new PC. I already have all the parts planned out. Basically, whenever I get the money, I'm going to ship them out here and put it together as soon as I can. And for all you techie people out there, I'm going to feature one of the new AMD Zambezi Bulldozer Architecture Processors, which I will, of course, be overclocking, 8 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaw RAM, and an AMD Radeon HD 6850 which is actually more powerful than the new Xbox's GPU. So to give you guys some perspective, my new PC build is going to be more powerful than the next Xbox that hasn't even come out yet. But that PC build is likely to happen over the summer, so we still have some time until that happens, and until then I'll be using my current setup 
of my mediocre PC and a console, and I'll be sure to let you guys know whenever the parts ship out for that new PC. So I hope this answered a lot of people's questions. I have plenty of videos for you guys coming out while I'm gone on spring break, and also when I head out to South Carolina this next weekend for a wedding. I have plenty of videos out there for you guys ready to go, so be expecting to see plenty of videos from me in the very near future. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next video.